9 o'clock in the morning and 6.30 in the evening. That's Monday. After the evening novena masses, Sinulog dance will be performed by invited university dance groups. We also have the ongoing Kaplag photo exhibits at SM North Wing, SM City Cebu, and the Santo Nino painting exhibit by the Augustinian painter, Reverend Father Dominador Bisaris OSA, in the Arts Center, SM City Cebu, until April 30, 2015. We also have the ongoing Kaplat Archival Documents exhibit at the Ayala Center Cebu until April 30, 2015. We also have the ongoing four-day Kaplag International Conference in the Radisson Blue Hotel at SM. Tomorrow, Sunday, April 26, at 9 o'clock in the morning, we will have the Traslacion Mass to be presided by Father Andrew Batayula, OSA, in the San Nicolas de Tolentino Parish Church to be followed at 10 o'clock in the morning by the Traslacion Motorcade of the Santo Nino Pilgrim Image to Mandawi City following this road. Two pass, right turn to T. Abelia, right turn to C. Padilla, straight to Colon, right turn to Osmania Boulevard, left turn to M. G. Cuenco Avenue, then straight to St. Joseph National Shrine in Mandawi City, to be followed by a welcome mass and vigil by devotees from the Mandawi City. Also tomorrow, Sunday at 5.30 in the afternoon, we will have the eight-day Novena Mass with Archbishop Piero Marini, who is the president of the Vatican-based Pontifical Committee for International Eucharistic Congresses as main celebrant, together with more than 50 concelebrating bishops from different countries. And to be concluded, after the singing of the IEC hymn, with the traditional religious sinulog by all devotees. Leading the mass songs will be the 450 voice kapla choral in symbol. On April 27, Monday at 4 o'clock in the morning, we will have the Santo Nino Pilgrim Image Departure Mass at St. Joseph National Shrine with Father Jonas M. E. Harris, OSA Basilica Rector as the main celebrant. Then at 6 o'clock in the morning, we will have the Flobial procession from Mandawi Oano Wharf to Pier Ono Cebu City, followed by the foot procession to the Basilica for the 9th day Novena Mass at 9 o'clock in the morning with Very Reverend Father Eusebio Berdon OSA, Prior Provincial of the Order of St. Augustine, Province of Santo Nino de Cebu as the main celebrant and this will be followed by the Sinulog dance offering by the selected groups. Also on April 27, Monday, starting at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, you will have the grand reenactment of the arrival and finding of the Santo Nino image to be performed in three sites from the Plaza Independencia. Then to Magallanes Plaza Subbu, Magellan's Cross Area. And finally, to the Basilica Pilgrim Center. The conceptualization and the libretto are done by the five-time Palanca Awardee, playwright and theater director, Floyd Quintus, with musical scoring and production by Krina Kayabyab, and dance direction by our very own Val San Diego. The grand reenactment is sponsored by the National Commission for Culture and the Arts, the Provincial Government of Cebu, in collaboration with the Ramon Aquitis Foundation. Walay bayad ang mutanaw sa maong makasaysayanon na drama. This will be immediately followed by the 9th day novena mass at 6.30 in the evening with His Eminence, Luis Antonio Cardinal Tagle as the main celebrant with the traditional religious sinulog by all devotees as final song of the Mass. Leading the Mass songs will be the 450 voice Kapla Choral in Symbol. On April 28, Tuesday, 
the Grand Complag Fiesta with the following highlights. First, the Fiesta Mass at 8 o'clock in the morning to be presided by Reverend Father Anthony Banks, OSA, who is the Assistant General for the Asia Pacific of the Order of St. Augustine. Second, the closing ceremonies at the 450 Kaplag International Conference in the Radisson Blue Hotel at 10 o'clock in the morning. Third, the solemn procession at 3 o'clock in the afternoon on this route. Basilica Osminia Boulevard, left turn to D. Jerusalem, right turn to Magallanes, to Borromeo, right turn to Colon, right turn to Mabini, to P. Borgos, and then right turn to Osminia Boulevard, back to the Basilica. Kindly bring your Santonino statues, rosaries, umbrellas, or hats, and transistor radios. Tune in to DYLA for the communitarian prayers and hymns during the procession. Assembly time is 2.30 at D. Jerusalem Street, starting from the back of the Basilica. Fourth, the Pontifical Mass at 5.30 in the afternoon, right after the procession, to be presided by the Cebu Archbishop Jose Palma, and to be concluded with the final singing of the traditional religious sinulog by all devotees. Leading the mass songs will be the 450 voice kapla choral ensemble. And finally, the fiesta will be capped by the first ever sinulog night street dancing organized by the Sinulog Foundation from Fuente Osmeña down to the Basilica with a finale presentation by all the participating contingents in the Pilgrim Center, the Basilica, after the Pontifical Mass. On May 16, 2015, Saturday at 5 o'clock in the afternoon, we will have the opening of the Art and Soul, the Cristo Nino exhibit in the Art Center, SM City, Cebu. And on May 23, 2015, Saturday at 7.30 in the evening, the staging of the Filipino Heritage 450 Kapla Concert in the Ayala Terraces, Ayala Center, Cebu. For more details, can read the posters, tarpaulins in front of the Basilica, the Freeman and other newspapers, listen to the announcements on TV and radio stations, and follow us on the Facebook and the Basilica and Santo Nino Kapla websites. For those who wish to sponsor the remaining Novena Masses and major events, kindly see the Secretariat at the Kaplag office next to the Basilica Rector's office during office hours, including Sunday. Dagang salamat, huwag nang hinao kita na diha sa iyang langit ng kalohi o gugma, makaplagan unta nato sa Jesus sa atong tagsatag sa kakinabuhi o kasing-kasing.
I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have with this sin, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of her Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins, 
and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Beloved, clothe yourselves with humility in your dealings with one another. For God opposes the proud, but bestows favor on the humble. So humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your worries upon him, because he cares for you. Be sober and vigilant. Your opponent, the devil, is prowling around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Resist him, steadfast in faith, knowing that your brothers and sisters throughout the world undergo the same sufferings. The God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory through Christ Jesus, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you after you have suffered a little. To him be dominion forever. Amen. I write you this briefly through Silvanus, whom I consider a faithful brother, exhorting you and testifying that this is the true grace of God. Remain firm in it. The Chosen One at Babylon sends you greeting, as does Mark, my son. Greet one another with a loving kiss. Peace to all of you who are in Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever.
to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. Then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, to them, was taken up into heaven, and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. It is with praise and thanksgiving that I join you today in this Eucharist, not only in marking but in celebrating the gift of faith to the Filipino people. Kaplag is a significant event in our faith life as it also comes prior to our hosting the 51st International Eucharistic Congress in 2016 right here in the Archdiocese of Cebu. Even as I speak now, the plenary, count, plenary assembly for the Pontifical Committee for International Eucharistic Congresses is going on, attended by priests and archbishops and bishops and lay delegates from 47 countries from around the world. Also, we know that Augustinian Fathers celebrate the 50th year of receiving the title for this church, a Basilica Minor. All these confluence of events simply show that Jesus has a great, the great role given to this to Cebu and to this great archdiocese in the faith life of the church in this part of the vineyard. This also highlights the missionary task of the local church at Extra and at Gentes. After the hasty baptism of Rahumabon, Amihan, and around 800 subjects, and the return to Spain of those who survived after Magellan's death. The inmates of the Santo Nino seemed to have vanished. Similarly, the light of Christianity seemed to have also vanished, only to be somewhat rekindled when Juan Camus, one of the soldiers of the Gaspi, discovered the inmates in a particularly burnt hut in April 28, 1565. Thus, the term Kaplak came to describe it today. The image of the Santo Nino may have been found 450 years ago to this date. However, joyful at such physical finding, can we really claim to have found the Santo Nino today? Magellan gave him as a gift, marking the baptism of the first native converts. But could we really say that the fire of the Spirit was kept burning in the heart and life of the Filipinos? In the manner that the image was lost, 
we too have lost Jesus in our lives. He may have been almost burned in every Filipino house and family. We could not turn with a deaf ear and a blind eye to the events which has removed Jesus from our lives. Our relationship with Him may have become so dim and weak. We look for other sources of satisfaction and contentment, only to realize that these are not really the things that satisfy our hunger and thirst. We have lost the Santo Nino as mothers aborted defenseless lives in their wombs. Fathers have lost the Santo Nino when they involve themselves in immoral relationships and sinful ways and try their best to prevent new lives to be born. We lost the Santo Nino when children became subjects of trafficking, pornography, and drugs. We lost the Santo Nino when children were left out to defend for themselves in the streets and also be involved in child labor. These are not only the sins we have done to kick the Santo Nino out of our lives. Scripture says, He grew up in age, wisdom, and grace. As children grew up in their families, were they really given that fertile atmosphere for them to grow in age, wisdom, and grace? All we have to do now is search our conscience for the many other ways we have denied and misunderstood the Santo Nino. May this Eucharist today enlighten us to repay what the Santo Nino has given to all of us, his life, his love, to the death. In repaying this great love of the Father through his Son, we have to return the Santo Nino in his rightful place in our hearts and in our lives. Today's Gospel truly underlines Kaplag as the, the Church honors St. Mark the Evangelist. His Gospel narrative today ends with the last appearance of Jesus to the Apostles before his ascension into heaven. The departure of Jesus and his ascension were both an end and a beginning for his disciples. It was an end to his physical presence and a beginning to a presence in a new way. Jesus' last words to his apostles point to his saving mission and to their mission to be witnesses of his saving death and his glorious resurrection and to proclaim the good news of salvation to all. Their task is to proclaim the good news not only to the people of Israel but to all the nations. A priest was once preaching about all this when he asked a question to the congregation, what is the most important, what is most important in this church? As he looked around for answers, he saw a little girl raising her hand, and she said to the priest, the most important thing in this church father is the exit sign. The priest was quite taken aback with the answer of this, this little girl, and he, he asked her to explain. Why exit sign? You have exit signs on the sides. And the priest says, why the exit sign? And the child explained, Father, after hearing the word of God and celebrating the Eucharist in this church, are we not to go out from these exit signs to share the good news of Jesus to others outside this church? Karon nakaplagan na nato si Jesus at ang buhaton ng tahas na itong nadawat uban sa mga apostoles. We are to be heralds of the good news and ambassadors of Christ, the only Savior of the world. Kining kaplag karon may atong hagit na dili kita magpabilin sa simbahan. We have to go through the exit signs. Dato na ito ang Santo Nino pagawa sa simbahan. Aron atong mapaamit sa uban ang iyang gihimo kanato. Matod pa ni Lolo Kiko sa iyang pagkaguaw sa Pilipinas niya itong Enero, Go to the peripheries. Kinahanglan ang mayong balita, madalangan to sa mga hilip o halayong mga katilingan. But God needs a body, the sick and disfigured person, embraced by Pope Francis, could not have experienced the love of God were it not for the hands of Lolo Kiko. 
the many sick, the dying, and the old who were embraced by Mother Teresa of Calcutta would not have felt the real love of Jesus and God without the hands and the healing touch of Mother Teresa. God needs your feet to walk the miles to visit the sick and the dying. He needs your eyes to notice the poor and the outcast. He needs your ears to listen to the cry of the displaced and the downtrodden. Kaya imo na kaplagan si Kristo na bati ang yan na kung gugma o pasaylo, imo na karoon ng turno sa pagpangita sa imong isuod. Kung sa imo na siya makaplagan, ipabati ka niya ang imong nabati gikan sa Santo Nino. I would like to end this reflection by borrowing the words of St. Francis of Assisi. He told the sons he had gathered in his congregation and said to them, Go then and preach the gospel, and if necessary, use words. God bless us all. Let us all stand for the prayer of the faithful and novena petition. As we celebrate the 450th anniversary of the finding of the miraculous image of Senior Santo Nino de Cebu, the 450 years of Augustinian presence in the Philippines, and the 50th year of the Santo Nino Church as Basilica Minore, let us lift up our prayers to Santo Nino de Cebu as we sing with all our hearts the gospels to him, who is our patron, protector, and king.
to hear our prayers and grant our petitions in this Eucharistic celebration. O sweet, merciful Jesus, Senior Santo Nino, the source of all goodness, we kneel before your sacred image, imploring you divinely for universal peace and brotherhood among all men and women. Enlighten the unbelievers and the heathens, so that they will believe you as their true God. Restore the faith of those who have wandered away from you. Bring them back to your fold with repentance in their hearts. Grant also to faithful departed in purgatory the remission of all their sins, so that they will rest in peace forever. Finally, nourish and strengthen our faith in you so that we will serve you faithfully on earth. Amen. Please be seated. As the offerings are brought to the altar, let us sing the offering to the King. Yes. 
manindot pa rin. Let us now pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice to the hands for the praise and glory of His name, for good and the good of all His holy church. As we venerate the glory of Saint Mark, we offer you, Lord, a sacrifice of praise, and humbly beseech you that your church may always persevere in the preaching of the gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. And with your spirit, up your heart. we lift them up to the Lord. As we bless the Lord our God, He is strong and just. Let's turn right and just and do in our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages and ending, with all the house of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we are praying. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until we come again. Therefore, to celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, the 
unto you, Lord, the bread of life and the chance of salvation. Give you thanks of your heaven's mercy to be in your presence and minister to you. How do we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit? Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also the brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face of mercy as all we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we be married to the curse of eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus Christ, the Lord God and Father, and so we have the Holy that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the is the kingdom, the power and the glory, Peace and blessings of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. We now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace.
Dun, but I must say the word that my soul shall be. Sa among kasi-kasi, 
Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that what we have received from your holy altar may sanctify us and make us strong in the faith of the gospel which St. Mark proclaimed through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Ako nga tubangan sa palayog pag-iway, ako nga tubangan mga BSG para sa sinulog dance offering pagkahimuan sa University of San Carlos Dance Company. Kuning bahina sa ngalan sa tanang kapareng Agustino sa Tibok, Pilipinas, o dinhi sa Basilica de Santo Niño de Cebu. Kinasing-kasing o may nito na itong pasalamatan ang tanang nagkatampo sa kalampusan sa atong arasingko imedia sa hapon ng Misa Novena. Nining ikapitong adlaw sa nobinario sa ika-450 katuig ng kasumaran sa pakakaplag sa milagrusong imahe ni Senior Santo Niño de Cebu. Nga ito nining musunod. Sa tanang mga mi-offer kaganina, pinanguluhan sa atong 2010 Hermano and Hermana Mayores na sila si Mr. Jose Dodong o Nena Golias. Nga ito sa atong past o current hermana o hermano mayores sa The Freeman Sunstar CDN, tanang mass media outlet, sa DYRF na mi-cover sa atong 5.30 mass novena karon 
sa cities and provinces of Cebu, the PNP, CETON, Red Cross, ERO, o sa Bureau of Fire Department, sa universities, schools and volunteers, benefactors, mass and program sponsors, authorities of the day, sa aking choir, sa kanila o sa aking tanan na may tampong sa aking misa karun, aking tagaag, masipang pakpak, pasalam. Pwede pa yung nasab na ito, mga pari ni Consilio para na itong misa karun, sa ato mga bisitang pari, mga pari ng Agustinos, o glabin na gayod sa itong presider of homilies, ang Bishop of the Diocese of Surigao, si Most Reverend Antonieto Cabajo D.D. Sa kanilang tanan, masipang pakpak mahalipan. Paglabaw sa tanan nga ito, sa itong ipasinugan na itong selebrasyon karon, ang Batang Isu si Senior Santo Nino, ang pinakamasipang pakpak. Viva Pip Senior! Viva Senior Santo Nino! Viva Pip Senior! Masipang pakpak ng Senior Santo Nino! Dagang salamat o manindo kita ng tanan. The Lord be with you. And with you with your spirit. spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now Amen. and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Heaven and earth. May I request my brother priest to please join me in blessing the people of God. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We will go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Pit Senior! Mas ipangpakpak ng Senior Santo Nino! Celebrate, Jesus, celebrate! University of San Carlos Dance Company.
canta si pasta pasta Signor San Cunigno Viva Pix Signor Gagang Salamat USC Dance Company sa inyong sinulo karong gabi yun na Big Senior! Masipang takpa sa USC Dance Company. Mayong gabi o gagang salamat, kanatong tanan.